Bunky right. Woodbine in the building today. What's good? How you been, man? I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Um, you know, I wrapped out of the gig in uh late December, December twenty third. Mm-hmm. So um, just trying to catch my breath and um, you know. Get the energy up for the next next assignment, whenever that's gonna be. Wait, so. you wrapped the which one? The, the the one that's on now. The yeah, U.S. The unsolved. Park? Unsolved. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, and then so okay. So the, oh, that's really fast. You wrapped it when? December twenty third. And now it's airing. Mm-hmm. That's not a fast turnaround. That's that's relatively normal. Oh, is it really? Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I think like you have to shoot it and then a year later it comes that's out. That's more like a flick. It is a movie. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah, movie time. Yeah. So what are we gonna see when we see this? I always get worried when I see a thing come in and they're like, oh, they're doing another Tupac Biggie. I get right. nervous because mm-hmm. I'm like, is it gonna be, you know, respectful? Whack. Is it gonna be <laughs> whack? Is right. it gonna be like exploitive? Right. You know what I right. mean? Um, and some of them are. No doubt. <laughs> I no haven't doubt. seen I haven't seen this. Tell me from your perspective the difference here. The difference with this one is this um it deals more with the perspective of the um the law enforcement um, individuals mm. that were trying to crack the case. Mm. So there's so much conjecture and um innuendo about what really happened. But the case involved um oh, excuse me, the the efforts to try to crack the case was so interesting and um, so bizarre some of the circumstances surrounding these uh, men and women that try to investigate their assassinations that you wouldn't believe it. Like 99% of this stuff is true, you know what I mean? It's 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 some stuff they had to put in, you know, just for, you know, dramatic reasons, like People vs. OJ. Right. There's, there's little, we took some liberties here and there, mm-hmm. but generally speaking, when it comes to the details of the case, it's real, but it's so bizarre and so strange, and it's so much. Like ser- what? What was the craziest thing that surprised you when you saw the script? Just, just, just the fact that they would be investigating one person for something completely unrelated to to what they think they're pursuing, and somehow he's connected to to uh, another aspect. Like when they first started investigating Big's murder, and it led them to Pac's murder, mm. the way that whole thing went down was was crazy, you know, because they weren't really trying to figure out Pac's murder initially. You know, that was a Vegas PD thing, is what I learned from um, being in the, um, on the show, rather, mm-hmm. is um, they ha- Vegas had that, mm-hmm. right? But in the midst of investigating what happened to Big, it led them to what happened to Pac, and when they started making those connections, that's when it gets really crazy, and isn't it's all it, true. And isn't it crazy that nobody was ever arrested? Yeah, yeah, it is. But we'll it understand is. that clearly. Yeah, yeah you're going to understand mm. it clearly. I mean, we went about it um, forensically. Like, we dealt with the real, you know, the real case. Mm-hmm. And um, we had a gentleman that was actually the head of the task force. They have formed a, a federal task force to figure out what happened to Big. And then um, the cat that ran that, um, you know, was an executive producer on our show. So he was there on a regular, helping us, you know, put the pieces together and bring the authenticity to it. But it's it's such a bizarre set of circumstances surrounding it. You would think that we made a lot of this up, yeah. but 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 it's true. And you're not like some actor that like I mean, you knew Pac well. Yeah. Yeah. So so you come into it with like a, you probably have a certain type of caring that if it was just a, a you know, an actor that had no affiliation would. I like no. to think so. I like yeah. to think so. You know what I mean? I like to think so. There was definitely a lot of moments when, you know, my mind was just blown as I was starting to put the pieces together of what happened. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because if you remember, after they were both, you know, killed, um, it seemed like there was a media blackout and there wasn't any real information, you know, being mm-hmm. let out to no the public. There was no social media, wasn't it? There was no rap. social uh-huh. media back then. It was just a lot of rumor and innuendo. So people were just making up their own mind, drawing their own conclusions, this, that, and the other. Um, so when I started to um, find out what was going on behind the scenes that I never knew 20 years ago, mm. it's crazy. So yeah, a lot of times I had to, um, I had to kind of fall back and and not be me, just try to be the guy I was playing. You know what I mean? The so, actor. The yeah, actor. Be the actor. The, the thespian. Actor, the thespian. You, know I mean? um, you, you knew him well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Pac. You did Gridlock? We did Gridlock together. We did um that video, I Am Mad, I Am Mad at, at You. I Mad at You video. You know what's crazy? Mm. I was supposed to be in the I Am Mad at You video. Oh, were? They, they made the call. They asked me to be in the video, and I said no. Mm. Because it was such a tense time, it's I just didn't. Time. I just didn't want. I didn't even want to be in. I didn't want to get in, in it at all. So I said no. I told the rep, and then he called. 
He was like, I wow. heard you don't want to be in my video. This is why you should. And then we wind up become, that's how I got to know him from that, wow. from turning that down. And then I wound up going, flying to LA to go interview him. And, and then, um, and then I saw the video and it came out and wow. <laughs> you were in it. And you that's were crazy. In. I don't think I was supposed to be you. Clearly I was, I was, I don't know what I was supposed to be doing in the video, some little cameo or something, but, wow, that's um, dope. Yeah, look, see, something that connected us. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. crazy. Right? That's crazy, yeah. yeah. Did you know him when you did when you did it? We had met um before that um at the premiere of this film I was in called Jason's Lyric. Mm. And, I um, love Jason's lyric. Did by you the way. dig that I picture? I did. I oh, did. You were a lunatic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I liked him. I was a little crazy when I was younger. No, you, you know? were a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, what I going to say is uh, at the premiere. I'm just a little funny anecdotal story, you know. Okay, what I'm saying I don't, I don't think you would mind me 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 telling the story. So you know they they uh it was who was there? It was Snoop was there. It was some cats from the Dog Pound, blah blah blah. And you know we you know smoking a blunt mm-hmm. on the on the, on the <laughs> no, on the, no that no, happened not in them, not in them days, right? <laughs> no. You know we smoking an L on the on the dance floor, or whatever. You and Pac. And, well, no, Pac Uh-oh. kept trying to. Pac was there, but he kept trying to get. The blunt, right? And oh. kept, everybody kept passing it past him. Nobody would would let him touch the blunt. He was always like, "Yo, hey, hey," and we kept passing him by. And finally, I was like, "Hey, hold on, man." You know, and I took the blunt, and I gave it to Pac, and you know, I know it sounds, I know it sounds cornball, but I think he was grateful. <laughs> and he, <laughs> no, I'm sure he was grateful. You know what I mean? I'm and, I mean, not not not, not just in that moment though. I think he remembered that. You know what I mean? And and um. And you think that's why he put you in the video? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be now, reason enough. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Like, looking back, I just wonder if maybe that has something to do with it, you know? Because, you know, I was that's like, funny. hey, this rude. You know, let let him touch the blunt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what kind of animals were you smoking with that wouldn't pass Tupac the blunt? Yo, it was what, crazy. What kind of it, it, yo, he I don't was think it was. It, I mean, I don't think it was personal. It was just kind of like it was just one of those things, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> what kind of animals <laughs> were they? That's so funny. And I and I and I don't like that you are so surprised that I love Jason's lyric. You are, you know, you've been in. You're you're a G at this. Like you have been in from Dead Press. You are a lunatic. Like you were, you're a lunatic in a lot of movies. Well, when I was younger, I was, uh, you know, hey, you know. Look, now that I'm not on a forty four for a reason? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just say <laughs> let's 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 look at it from a positive angle. Now I'm pl- at forty four I'm playing a, a police officer, you know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to crack an important case. At twenty four you know, I was I was I was playing a different type of He was carrying dead you know he- he- heads of <laughs> cut off heads of people around. <laughs> exactly. That exactly. was that was very dark, okay. It was, it was crazy. That it was, was crazy. Dark. Based on a true story too. But very dark. Yeah. And yeah. you pulled it off very well. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. what's up. <laughs> you did very well. Um, all right. So that, and when you think about that career, when you think about, what was that, like 90? 95. Well, we shot it in 94. came out in 95. Talk about Dead Press? Yeah, yeah. Or any of that. I feel like yeah. you've been you've been like a working actor since early 90s, right? 93, yeah. 90. I got my first gig in 92. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, my first joint came out in 93. And I've been blessed to, um, to, to, continue to work so it's 20 25 years now. that's an incredible run not bad and not you not know bad. likely you not know what i'm bad. saying not common i should say not common yo there's a lot of people that i started off with that I, you know you just don't see them no more you right. know it's crazy like mm-hmm. they just people that you would be in audition rooms with yeah probably, right? yeah, yeah the audition room scenario that was hilarious that was acting in and of itself everybody yeah, who was like, in your class who was like you're in audition class you know you would you would see you would see a lot of cats and they act like they they happen to see each other but you know they, you're not happy to see this cat you know what i mean <laughs> hey man how's the family who yeah. was the guy that who was the guy that when you walked in you were like shit oh, no nah, not this dude again me and wood used to um like wood, like wood, uh, wood, oh, harris. wood harris yeah, okay. yeah like i would get one and I'd be like, ha ha. And then he would get the next one. I'd be like, damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> then I would get one. I'd be like, ha ha. You know what I mean? Which he one did he get, the get next that one. you were really mad he got? Um, which uh, uh, I didn't even have a chance at um, paid in full. You know what I mean? He oh. just snatched that one but up. He, by the way, he killed that. He bodied it. He bodied and, that. You know, he was the perfect person for it. Right. Um, and, but you uh, were mad. I was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I, was uh, I was definitely vexed. Shout out to Will Harris, by the way. That's yeah. no but love. Um, of course. <laughs> um, but I got Ray. 
You know what I mean? Yes. I know I know he was heated about that he one. He had to you be. You know what I'm saying? Ray was not a small movie. Exactly, exactly. And then um, he you got a- You were great in Ray, too, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. When you were watching, so when you were in Ray, and, you, and you're even seeing um, Jamie's performance, mm-hmm. were you in, 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 like, you know, it was such a big deal for him, and even after, it was, like, the thing that made him this big, big thing, right? Okay. And so- when it was happening, were you like seeing it and knowing like this is he's killing this like this is gonna yeah. be a big deal? I knew it. I knew it from jump. He yeah. he he was kind of like skeptical in a way because I would bring it up. Nervous. I was I would I would tell him almost every other day. I'll be like, "Yo, you know you're gonna get that statue, right?" And he was like, "Oh man, I don't know, Bokeem. You know, like who's gonna watch this? Like really, who's who, who's gonna come see this?" And I was like, "Man, who's not gonna come see this? You know what I mean?" So he was he was doing his best. And I saw something that I don't think he acknowledged at the time. I was like, You Dude, saw the awards and everything. I, I knew wow. it. I was like, You're gonna That's get amazing. the Oscar, man. He was like, eh, whatever, you know. Um, he wasn't he wasn't really convinced. Um, but yeah, you could tell. It it, it was just so um uncanny the, the resemblance and and um the, and the, the amount of work. Yeah, and the that performance. He put in. It you was incredible. Tell. Yeah. It was so good. Speaking of incredible performances, congratulations, Emmy nomination for Va- for oh, Fargo. Thank you. That's a great role for you too. Thank you. That's a little I mean, that's a little crazy. Like a, you know what I'm saying? Back to your No doubt. That that, <laughs> that one, you know, that one Why you is know, this happening to you? Why it, is this always <laughs> What is it about you, Bokeem? I don't know. I think I think I'm just <laughs> like I think I probably spend a lot of time by myself, and so people can't. If people don't know you, they draw conclusions about you. Yeah, you know what I mean because they don't get a chance to really interact with you and socialize with you. So I'm not really in the in the mix in Hollywood like that, like where I'm, you know, allowing people to really even get to know me. Um, but so well, you know what I mean? Like, I'm polite and everything like that, but I don't really- But you're really... not, like, at the industry parties and nah, events. you're not going to really catch me in the mix like that. And if I am, it's only That's true. I don't, I don't see you in, like, a lot of- You've just been, like, a good, steady, working actor and- No doubt. But, I try to avoid the controversy, yeah. you know what I mean? You um, don't, um, and you don't have social media either, right? Do I don't you? do social media. There was a- I, I thought about it at one point, and then right when I was thinking about um, doing social media, I was like, Bo Keem, what, what, hold on. I'm Bo Keem. How is it? Oh, somebody was already Bo Keem? <laughs> oh, on like everything, like going back to MySpace back in the day, I know right. that that doesn't even exist anymore, right? Like MySpace. people, It's, it's there, there, it's, there it's, but it's nobody's not, there. <laughs> it's dormant. I it's crickets. It. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> MySpace, Facebook, if you Twitter, do come all back, of that. You know? That's not the That's direct. not the that's move? Not that's not, that's, all right, so I don't want to be on MySpace? No, no, all right, no. all right. That's not a good start. <laughs> <laughs> that's not where you want to start. <laughs> oh, so anyway, um, yeah, no, but I was noticing all these 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 fake Bo Keems, you know what I mean? And it just it just turned me off to the whole process. I was like, I'm a, I'm a bypass. So do you feel out of the loop? Because what an interesting life! I can't even imagine not even being. I'm just an interesting cat, though. You, you know, are, I'm I just see. like I'm 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 in, I'm I'm in my own lane and and I'm comfortable here and and for whatever reason, um, it's now kind of starting to pay off a little bit. Yeah. So I'm like, well, maybe I should just stay just like it this. You. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. being true, true to yourself never fails at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, indeed. Yeah. You might Sometimes take 25 you might, right, years, yeah, you might you have to take some mean? hits. Trust me, I've taken a few hits, too, where I'm indeed. like, oh, I got to eat that because you got, I'd rather just ride it out and stay, you know what I mean, be able to sleep at night and, and look be at yourself in the mirror. 100%. You know what I mean? I totally agree with that. Yeah. But you probably miss out. So, like, when things happen, like, culturally, like, when everybody's talking about something crazy that happened on social media, are you that far out that you don't even know? I'm always late. You're late to the I'm You don't even late. know what's I'm going always on. Late, you know? Oh, and then and then I find out about it and they'll and I'll be like, Did you all hear about such and such? And they'll be like, Man, that was six months ago. <laughs> you like an like, old oh, man, Bokeem. Yeah. What <laughs> the, you like an old man. What the Y'all hell? trying to keep the to keep the physical young, but the mind is definitely old, you know what I mean? The mind is definitely old. <laughs> Somebody told me that or I, I saw this online or something that you do that you could do like ventriloquist or something. Is that true? Or no, is that I don't know where weird? that started. It's not see, true. This, yeah, no, it's not true. <laughs> it's definitely not true. But I'm see, so this bummed. I, as I uh, thought. I, 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 it I was could gonna do like go a little... down today. I have a sock in my bag oh, word? just in oh, case. Oh man, <laughs> yo, I would have definitely pulled it off if I had that skill set. I would probably be utilizing it more often. But well, I think know. it would be an interesting thing to add to your like repertoire, <laughs> uh... and I don't think it's too late. I think you could actually make the story be true. Yo, this... how long could it take to learn how to do that? <laughs> you got to go to school for that, though. Is I it think. like a real thing? I, I think don't... yeah, I think like it's a real skill set. What know a know random me? rumor. Yo, bizarre. But see, this is what happens when you don't hang out. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> People, People make start up coming up with the most bizarre stuff about you, you know? We have a mutual friend, um, James Samuel. Oh, you know James? I know That's James what it is. Very, he's like one of my favorite people in the whole world. James is dope. So James told me, 
before far before you came out in Fargo, mm-hmm. he he prepped us. He was like, "Yo, you gotta see Bokeem in this role. It's That's like gonna dope. be a big role for him." It's like he was really like singing your praises. And so when it did come, I was looking at it with those eyes, and I was like, "This is a great role for him." Yo, so, James, James had my back. Shout out to James Samuels. James had my back on um, with that because I wasn't sure. I was like, I don't know, man. Like I don't know if if people are gonna feel this role. If it's gonna push the needle. And he was like, yo, brother, things are not going to be the same, whoop de whoop and, and he was right. That was the thing that kind of like just finally, after all those years of grinding, some life. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just kind of like gave me a little momentum, you know what I mean? Because this is not a business you want to tread water in. You want to, at one point you can, when you mm-hmm. get way, way, way down the line, you can tread water, you know, you do whatever you want. Backstroke, you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> right, right, right. Bob for apples, whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I heard you did that too. (laughs) Right, 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 right. It's it's an Olympic sport. (laughs) No, but you know, um, you know, you don't want to, especially when you're a young brother. You don't want to be treading water for too long. So it's a miracle. I'm even, I'm even here because I had like probably like a 15 year slump. You know, I heard somebody say that, or you said that to somebody, and and I thought that can't be possible. Was it that long? Yo, 15 years. So probably like around 2001 is when it started. And then uh, all the way up until Fargo came out, that's 15 years, you know what I'm Shit. saying? So I was working, but it was stuff that you wouldn't see except for like maybe two in the morning. But you were in Ray, you were in... I was in Ray, it didn't push the needle. I was in a Oh, pit. you mean something that really, pu- you were in things, you worked. I worked, but, but it was small like, things. small things yeah. or things that were overlooked or were marginalized or kind of like, you know, you know what I mean. Like, it's not like now where you know it didn't get you an Emmy nomination like right, Fargo did. Bong, which yeah. led to you know this great show Unsolved, which is leading to the next thing. You know, or, or you know, which Fargo also led to Spider Man or whatever. That's called that's momentum. You know what I mean? That's yeah. when you you covering some ground. You 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 know you gaining ground. You actually acquiring things. You know what I mean? Um, when when you tread in water, you know your salary is the same. You know what I'm saying? Um, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> you still going to uh, auditions with the same cats? Yeah, nobody and they're getting wants older. That. It's like it's it's like being like a senior for like ten years. You know what I mean? Like getting left back constantly, Ugh. constantly. You know, um, I don't know if in your school there was ever like a cat in the class that's like clearly like twenty old. years old. Yeah, like, of course. Oh, man, what is this dude doing? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like that. And you know, all these young upstarts coming along and shooting rocketing right past you, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, after a while, it dawns on you that your your livelihood is in jeopardy, you know what I mean? Because how long can you tread water before you just get cut off and then you don't even get the auditions, you don't even... That's like the panic of an actor, though, right? Don't most <sighs> actors always live in that panic of that? Ooh, like, man. you could have something hot from last year, but that don't matter if you don't have nothing popping this year, right? Like it's, Indeed. Yeah, it's scary. Indeed, indeed. And if it's not something that's really going to um, bring in a great residual income, you know what I mean? Then, you know, your mind starts playing tricks on you. Um, so I made it out of that. Like it's 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 just a blessing that um, Fargo came along and and kind of and kind of jumped off this new new phase of my career for me. Um, but Spider-Man prior to was that, not you know, a small thing either. No doubt, no <laughs> doubt. And 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 yeah. um, truth be told, that's not the last time you're gonna see the Shocker. You know yeah. What I mean? So that's that's a nice little little thing, you know, for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Every time you do one of them joints, that's that's one of your kids going to school, you yeah. know what I mean? Because the residuals is, is less insane worrying. and everything. It's like a whole another year or two of less worrying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Good so for you. Good it's for a you, blessing. man. It's a blessing. It's Since a blessing. 93, it's still going. It's crazy, and right? And still growing. Still growing, indeed. Yeah. You know, you That's know, dope. getting getting more square by the second, you know? <laughs> em- embrace so, it, my turn, friend. Turn it into SpongeBob, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. It, it is, is a good it thing. is, it embrace is, it is. It. You know, remember them, some of them cats you ain't seen since 94? Wow. You know what I mean? You don't want to be that. No. No, 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 no. I'm definitely on the lucky side of things. Um, well, I'm happy for you. It's good to see you, man. Congrats on everything. And Same I'll be, um, we will all be tuning in. <clears throat> Tell everybody where they could see it. Oh. It's on uh, the USA Network. It premieres February 27th mm-hmm. at 10 p.m. That's a Tuesday. And then How many parts is it? 10, 10, 10 episodes. Parts, 10 episodes. So two, starting February 27th at 10 p.m. on USA every Tuesday thereafter for 10 episodes. Don't miss it. It's definitely going to blow your mind. Amazing. Good to see you. One time, Bokeem Woodbine. Thank you. That's what's up. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that.